Time for the trial to start. What more is there to say? Here we go. Oh yeah, we're the Bittersweet Gamers. I'm we squared. I'm the Opinionator! <laughs> no! Let me go! Help me! You know, the trial would be less interesting if you just would have talked to us before. Right? Ah, he's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be ruined. What are you implying here? Can I ask Nekomaru a question, please? <laughs> hey, shut up and stay put. And you be quiet too, Damon. You stubborn little Lolita. Stop it. Hey, stop harassing, little girl. Everybody has to be present for the trial. This is, what's going on? Hyoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. But Hyoko's still trying to run away, so Monokuma's trying to wrap her in a full Nelson. He's having a difficult time because her hair is getting in the way. At least he hasn't hit her with a corkscrew punch or Pegasus view Seiken. Right? Damn it! Hey, if you don't stay put, I'm gonna make you a part of this island's food chain! <laughs> Unbelievable. Jeez! Making me waste my sweet ass time. Die in a fire. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. <laughs> Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? Uh, probably in his room. That guy. He totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. Uh, 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 What? <laughs> his anger changed his form. Pardon me. I want to puke. <laughs> oh my god, I want to throw up everywhere. <laughs> I'm right here. Hmm? Uh, did you see that evil soulless <laughs> eye? The black one? <laughs> oh, Fuhiko, you came. I was worried about you. There's no way for me to run anyway. So, no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still, Bastard. I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. Fuyuhiko, what does that mean? Hmm. Well, it's all good. <laughs> if the trial heats up, it's all good. <laughs> anyway, looks like everyone's here. So let us depart now. Yeah. I'll go first and be one step ahead of you guys. Oh my god! <laughs> Buffakuma scares me. Crap! I'm not mentally prepared yet. I wasn't mentally prepared for that either. <laughs> do you even have to prepare? I do! I don't even Show think about spirit. anything at all. If so. you don't have enough power, harness your latent energy! Come on! Bring out that energy! Oh no! Nekomoto's about to change form with his anger! Of causality. So it begins. The beginning of the end. <laughs> now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope. Okay, guys, before we start, I have a proposition. We're all going to close our eyes and look away, and the person who killed Mahiru murdered Nagito, and we won't say anything. Hey, that's a decent idea. Uh, that's right. I can only... I don't actually mean that, of course. Right! Moving forward is the only option. So is talking to everybody. Okay. What the? Monokuma changed forms. Color me surprised. Maybe hey, his hey. third form will have a really elongated head. <laughs> Could he be the type to awaken hidden powers when he gets angry? When's he going to be gold? He, he's a stuffed animal, right? Sarkane, about that head wound. Who are you again? Oh, this class trial stuff again. So this time we gotta figure out who killed Mahiru, huh? You don't seem too displeased. I don't get complicated stuff, so I'll leave this to you guys, okay? Uh, at least until her gut kicks in. Yeah, basically. So, Sarnia. Listen. The truth behind Mahiru's death. Sparkling justice may hold the key. No, that just has to be it. Okay. <laughs> mm, I, I have nothing to do with this. Poor Hyoko. She didn't do it. <laughs> you should be honored. It's nearly A mere human such as yourself will be present to witness the beginning of the end. I... 
I believe in you. If everyone works together, you should be able to stand against any despair. Yeah, we'll take care of this. I will definitely help you out. Later. Okay. Yeah, quit leaving when we need you, and maybe I could start to believe you again. Because it's bad. Let's go. We can't forgive the killer. Mahiru. Why did Mahiru... <laughs> this is impossible. Damn it. I'm not mentally prepared yet. Like, I don't think I'll ever be. Or you ever were. But we can't just stand around all day. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hm. I'm a Yakuza. I won't run or hide. <laughs> what are you dilly-dallying for? Why are you trying to talk to everyone? Experience points, it's chapter 2 and you're level 58. I saved Checo for last. Then... I hate you, Billy. <laughs> Let's go. There's no reason for us to waste time here. Did I miss anyone? Okay, no, I did actually save her for last. Excellent. Let's go. Did you talk to Nekomaru? Yeah, he had the yeah. energy. Yeah. yeah, like that. That is so weird. It looks really You're bad. so evil. No matter how many times I see it, it's such bad taste. The worst... The lowest, most brutal taste. Uh, I'm going to get hung from the ceiling again, aren't I? I don't know about most brutal or that bad, but... Somehow I moved my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves, and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason, my breathing was short, and I was eventually struck by a feeling similar to dizziness because I just keep passing out. The moment all of us were inside Monokuma Rock... That is... It just looks so dumb. Yeah. The escalator, I mean. The yeah. rest of it's fine. A rumbling sound filled the room, and the surrounding space began to fall. As it shook with the clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair. Nagito wouldn't stop staring at me. As if my heart was a rotten fruit, swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. Huh. I... Suddenly stop breathing. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. Yeah, the apprehension, the tension. And then it stopped altogether. Aim! Defeat the boring routine! So... So I decided to start redecorating. How's it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible! It's not like I'd allow you to think otherwise anyway. A bunch of projection screens. Well, we're apparently... <laughs> and what appears to be like a phone background. Yeah. I mean, we're apparently going to litigate... The, the murder in Twilight Case Murder right. Syndrome Bone Meat. <laughs> to go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate. Really, what is your true intention? No, no. Uh, nothing really. Uh, essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyway. <laughs> kill time? Yeah! To break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. Lie. A purpose is only going to be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. There is literally nothing true in any way about <laughs> what he is saying. <laughs> That's why you guys should forget about such cheap-ass purposes like trying to survive and just give in to all your basest instincts. That's the cool hip thing to do, isn't it? Enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your heart! It's starting. The class trial is starting. Mahiru. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her. Yeah, I agree with that. Is among us? I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... I mean, this is a really big loss. 
Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. She always tried to get people to stand up, like, for their own interests. Yeah, To do yeah. the right thing. And she was always there if you needed it. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Here's what we got. We still have fragments remaining to buy more, but we, we have a ten of... grab what seemed to be the most overall useful. Yeah, we have a ten of influence because it's the only thing we have that'll increase influence gauge. Mm -hmm. Menacing focus because focus is good. Use the focus, Billy. Are you going to use the focus? What button is focus? Okay, charisma, which increases recovery for when we just get one thing wrong and are hammered on it. Tranquility, which is robot jocks from the last game. Basically. And focus decreases at a slower rate, Billy. <laughs> That's about it. Let's go. <sighs> I still primarily suspect Peko, then, but not let's strongly. Begin with yeah, a simple yeah, yeah. explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh, no matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Yeah, I'm sure you would think of it that way, Monokuma. What? Who cares about that game? Well, it's pretty important. The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. But the only way we're going to find that is through the proper decoding of the game? Well, not the only way. No, but it's going to be a big clue. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. We're given a setting. Uh -huh. I'm still not extremely convinced that the that the setting is going to provide the, the outcome. I I think the killer is outside of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I could be wrong. Again, one of the only reasons, or the only reason I don't suspect Fuyuhiko is like the only substantive one is literally intuition. I'm not going to try and pretend that I have, like, a long amount of evidence or reasoning. <laughs> I can come up with some BS reasoning that'll sound fine. Some BSG reasoning? Some if of you us will. have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. And, you know, I mean, the motives usually aren't the determining factor for why someone kills. Like, not directly. They have been. Yeah, you're right, you're right. It means... Twilight Syndrome murder case is a non-fiction game. Rather, okay, I know with Celeste, it was it was the factor. Yeah. It was the main yeah. factor. But it was just a contributing factor, but not the only factor in the others, as near as right. I can remember. Yeah, yeah, that, that's which what I remember too. Which we're not going to sit here for 30 freaking minutes and try and figure and go through everything. Right, carefully. right, right. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. I know, it's it's so strange. Some of us are characters <laughs> in a video game? <laughs> How does it feel to be a character in a video game? <laughs> well, I always get called one anyway. So, <laughs> I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. It's just like Monokuma set this up and we have no choice but to live with it and frame everything around it. And I just think that's fascinating. Yeah. Whether No matter how useful or not useful it ends up being in, in helping to come to the truth, it's just interesting that he did it that way. It's sort of like an exercise of raw power. Yeah. Which, that, that's what's different about this Monokuma and Monokuma from the first game, Junko. The characters in the game were Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, Girl D, Girl E, Boy F. Those names are stupid. I mean, I played the game. And the high school girl who got killed at the beginning. I'm, I'm Guy F, so I guess I can't really complain. 
By using the staff roll after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. Look, and you are correct, it does say Hyoko. Look, I'm the first fucking person <laughs> that Damon thought of to use a voice. I'm sorry, all right? You want to fight about this? <laughs> I'm always itching for a fight. Oi, guys, come on! The first character the player was able to control was Girl A. The true identity of Girl A is, it's probably... Sato! Uh, Sato. Dude, Girl A is Mekon! Oh, girl! No, there's nobody here named Sato in the first place. Damn it! I'm, I'm so stupid. My god, Billy! It's probably Mekon. I see! <laughs> yeah, we're off to a great start. Girl A is probably... Mikan Sumiki. Remember how you managed to get a game over in the last one just because of Bone the Meat on? <laughs> that timid tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. Also, Pig Barf. I'm sorry, I'm Girl Pig Barf! <laughs> Based on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Why am I in a video game? That's an as a professional stalker, I shouldn't be infringing on other people's privacy. Ha! A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. And based on the lines that you have just said, especially the pig shit part, <laughs> that's why you, Hyoko Sionji, are girl B. Ah, a nasty, <laughs> trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. What's the rating on this game? <laughs> She's right. The one who said that was Girl B. I see. I like how we're doing this Girl first. Girl B was short and foul mouthed. She's probably Hyoko. Short and foul mouthed? That's <laughs> the complete opposite of me. That's right. You're tall, kind, and no, that's Sonya. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Next is Girl C. Ibuki, because Girl D was Mahiru. Girl C, huh? Her personality was hyper, energetic, and unique. So Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Morokuma. I'm just seeing, see. if I keep saying that, are you gonna pick some of these? Girl C <laughs> is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to Girl D. Yeah, that was dumb. Girl D, huh? There's only one person who always had a camera with them. I say that was Fuyuhiko. dumb, and I'm the person who tried several times to do a really bad joke when we were in Mahiru's room. It eventually worked, I, I guess. Why am I talking? Girl D is Mahiru, the victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E. Why should we Let's skip Girl E? Guy. I don't know if it's entirely uh, reasonable to skip Girl E, but... He's guy F. Monokuma! I After see. the way you opened, you better not do that anymore. Aren't you guy F? Fuyuhiko? Huh? Huh? F? Fuyuhiko? Ah, ah. Huh. I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. You don't play dumb. You played the game. You did it first. Uh, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. Blah, blah, little sister, blah, blah. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? That, that means there were two people with the last name Kuzuryu. It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. <laughs> Look, do you see how she's mad up there, Usami? <laughs> Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? Yeah, it's Fuyuhiko's little sister. The reason Fuyuhiko's last name, Kuzuryu, appears twice. It's true I have a hunch, but... Call me out like that, Nagito. You're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. Uh, uh... The reason... Fuyuhiko's last name, Kuzuryu, appears twice. It's probably because he has a little sister that we've already talked to her about. I can prove it with this. Still, the name Kuzuryu, In the game, it Guy just... F, Kuzuryu, mentions that he has a little sister. It just screams Yakuza. Uh-huh. Uh. Hmm? What do you mean, little sister? Well, you see, Akane, sometimes when you have a sibling born That's after That's enough! You, this is what Guy F said in the game. 
What the hell did she do to my little clear. sister? There's no doubt that Gaef had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuriu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? Why I doesn't he want to talk about this? don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. The only character in the game I could see being Fuyuhiko's little sister is... This is, of course, all just to make sure you understand what's going on. I see! The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. That bitch. Girly, was it? What the hell did she do to my little sister? How many Based times do I- have <laughs> tone in the game, it's clear that Girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Now it's time to accuse a ghost. Or some other way of... Kyoko's a ghost? What? Of dragging out the uh, early part. I'm, it's just establishing the basic facts. Are you praising me? Oh my god. I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Oh, to receive praise from an ultimate. There's nothing that could make me happier. Ah, oh, Fuyuhiko. I never knew you cared. Oh my god, I could feel him killing with his gaze. Hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. See, this is the thing that's ridiculous. Because if what happened in this game is true, that means he doesn't have the memory of his little sister dying. Yeah. And that's, that's awful. That's messed also, up. Also, that would mean that she was an ultimate too, because based on, yeah. the, based on the pictures that were in the... They were in Hope's Peak. Yeah. They had the uniform anyway. Which again, just makes you go back to the whole, is this really real or which one of Danganronpa 1 and 2 yeah. is not Yeah, are they both real? fake? I mean... Blah, blah, Byaki, I bring it up every time, but... <laughs> it's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. And I'm not just saying that to provoke you. That's why it's the motive. Don't go making shit up, bastard! Man, poor Fuyuhiko. Right? If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. Huh. Oh, yeah? Sent you off, huh? What does that mean? I mean, we know it's his little sister. He, he may he may be just a big softie on his sister. Oh, I'm sure. Okay, if that was reality, like yeah. when he found out who it was that was responsible for the little his little sister's death, without a second thought, he just went and killed him. That's true. That's true. It, it happened just the other day. Um, about that. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. God, poor guy. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? Man... I mean, I'm not going to sit and talk about it constantly because this is a trial and we actually move pretty fast during yeah, the trials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what? every time Nagito speaks, there are so many layers to it. <laughs> uh, uh, if, if we get to the end of the game and he's not the mastermind I or still, involved somehow... I, okay, I may be involved, but I still don't think he's the mastermind. Mainly because well, he's too suspicious it's like, wouldn't it be fascinating from a narrative point of view if he's just like this and is just this guy? Oh, God. A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. Oh, yeah? That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. 
But we do need to address this. We do. We do. We do. For one... Okay, you're starting to act weird again. For one, without question, he was undoubtedly one of the first two people to discover the body. Because Kazuichi is number three. It was yes. either Fuyuhiko or Hiyoko and then Kazuichi. We have to deal with them. Yeah. That means that we know for a fact the killer doesn't count. Uh, well, that, rather, that, I should say, that's if just the killer a, is who we think it is. That's just like a... Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's like not really made clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Well, you know, maybe for you, he go... He had to have. Anyway, the problem was is he's placed on site, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. That was the most boring line to read <laughs> I have ever done. <laughs> and the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. Yeah, this is just a story in a freaking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Whoever the heck that is. Right. Could it be the same Miss Sato who likes white rice? Are, are you making a pun? Well, uh, I mean, I guess you can put sugar on your rice. It, I don't know where she's really going with that. That's just the first thing I thought of. I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Are you sure about that? Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. That's true. What the heck is that wild connection? Huh, maybe it's Tanaka true. may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. I don't know. I think Suzuki is a better name than Tanaka myself. Are you biased against your own character, David? Well, of course I like Gundam, but Suzuki is a better name than Tanaka. That's all I'm getting at. And he also has a strange rivalry going Dude, on. Dude, his name is probably... Like Taro, okay? <laughs> or like Ichiro, like some some really normal Plano normal name. I mean, actually, Ichiro is a pretty cool name, but I guess it's kind of popular. Anyway, whatever the heck his his actual name is, it isn't Gundam. Yeah. Hey, no one ah. cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. No, let's huh? talk more Tanaka. What do you mean, mystery of the game? I'm just here to hang around and not really be helpful in any way, shape, or form. Well, she was Mama, glaring at everybody you before. Don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way! Is that true? I, I see she's playing along. Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? The hell was that? It's so violent. My, such awful times we live in. Why does this happen? This is why we just can't <laughs> trust you, you wascally wabbit. <laughs> you guys are definitely friends. Ha 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 Kazuichi won. Is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it. Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. Because she killed Fuyuhiko's little sister. Kuzuryu the Younger! Uh, it, it's because Fuyuhiko's sister. Er, I mean... Girl E was yeah, the yes, killer. Yes, yes, I see! The reason Girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means Girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. Man, what Fuyuhiko. Think, Fuyuhiko. Apparently Girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But, but... <sighs> Whether it's right or wrong, I imagined that the sentencing wouldn't have been quite as, quite as bad on that particular... Right? But, you know, whatever he feels about his sister, he's a Yakuza. Mm -hmm. You can't let that go no. as a Yakuza. Like honor, you know? I'm not saying that's good. No, 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 no. But, you know, if you come face to face with the with the murderer of your family member, you know, there's going to be some options running through your mind. Whether they're good or bad, they're going to be running through your mind is all I'm saying. It, is, it, is that true? <laughs> Girl E, she, she killed the first victim? Wait. No, this is this is BS because he had the envelope. 
In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. Are you saying you think Fuyuhiko misunderstood? Maybe, because he clearly beat the game and got the thing. Sure. Maybe. He had but the why envelope. Would someone, but if someone else played the game, why would they give him the envelope? Without the proper context, it wouldn't make any sense to him. And why would he then give it to Mahiru if he didn't understand the context? Well, I mean, he could be trying to just cover his own butt right here. Right, I'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I, I agree. That'd be That's kind of odd, but... Which, which only makes it more probable that he's just covering his butt. But I guess, you know, if somebody else did it first, and then they're like, well, but why would they have given it to Fuyuhiko? Right, right. Like, without talking about it. Mm. Not sure. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Y yes? Oh, Very nice. good, very good. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. Okay, victim, water tank and gravel, broken vase, broken window. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Okay, well, they were coming up the stairs, but they it took them a while to get there. So, yeah, what we assume happened... Hit L1, would you? What we're assuming happened is that uh, Sato took the water tank, bashed open the window uh -huh. after after killing the victim, and then like used a vase to kill the victim and then deposited the vase over there. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. That may not be true, but... Right, but that's the assumption we're working on under right now. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Yeah, it's true. That's true. I mean, like for an ancient 942-year-old man like myself, <laughs> I, I definitely actually mapped several games when I was uh, when I was like a little kid. In fact, the first game I remember... Back in 1920. Mapped, the first, yeah, when video games were brand new. <laughs> um, before I was 10 years old, the first game that I mapped was the NES version of Willow. Oh, I remember that game. I don't think I ever had the patience for mapping. I think I tried a couple times on like computer games, mm -hmm. like those kind of Eye of the Beholdery style yeah. games, but I just didn't have the patience for it, and so I never really beat any of them. Those games are hardcore. Classic color RPGs have a first-person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. The thing that would get me is when you go up and down stairs, or when you get into a teleporter, and it's like you lose. Oh God! You lose where you need to. You lose your frame of reference, and so you may actually end up making a map and having to fuse the maps together. Yeah. And then, Kind of we me. get it. Let's talk about <laughs> that later so we can focus on the case. No, I want to talk about Eye of the Beholder. It's a really good game. Okay. I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. You can just say Girl A, B, C, and D. It'll save so much more time. Really? Please. Immediately. They climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office, and when the five of them were finally able to go inside... So this just means that we've got we've to actually reconcile the timeline. Right. They found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Hey, that's different than what Girl E said she did. Oh, right, Girl E said she choked her out and then smacked her over the head. Right, right, right. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. I mean, she had to have... She had to have run to the other room... And, like, as she left, lock the door, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, because you can do that. Well, it depends what type of lock it is. But you can always just turn the thing and, on the knob and then close the door. Yeah. And it'll lock. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. You leave Chiaki alone, Nagito. You leave clearing games alone, Nagito. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl 
eat? Well, I mean, we can't really speak to her level of prefer- anyway. Obviously. Girlie was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Right? Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Unless he, doors work differently in this well, world. Depending on the door, maybe you can't do that, but that would... Yeah, if it was like a deadbolt? Or like a... Yeah, like a deadbolt, then yeah, you couldn't yeah. do it. But Which we don't know. Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? Oh my god, look at Teru Teru's portrait. That's pretty terrible. That's pretty... Uh... By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. That makes sense. Sure. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girlie broke the right. window and escaped. Why, can we, why can't we deal with that? Like, why is not that not the case? How would she have gotten back inside by the time the other girls got upstairs? She doesn't need to get back inside. She was waiting for them when they went upstairs shortly after they heard the break. Oh! She'd already locked it and dumped the murder weapon in the other room. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The glass had already been broken. She used the vase to draw their attention. She smashed the vase. She'd already killed the girl. And locked the, do the door, put the key up, and she used the broken vase to, to make the noise to draw them up there. Okay, but the girl died from a blow on the head. Fish tank. There wasn't blood all over it. There was on the vase. Okay, maybe yeah. she used the, the vase, or the maybe she used the, the fish tank. Maybe the window was already broken and she smashed the fish tank to make the noise. But that's still what the initial assertion basically was. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That because makes sense. wasn't there blood on the vase? Why don't we go to the... That's a good question! I mean, blood from a head wound doesn't just disappear. See, there's no blood on this. Mm, doesn't look like there's blood there either. It's plants. Hmm. That may be what you thought was blood because of how blood looks in this game. Hmm. And sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Yeah. Then forget this. <laughs> okay, so we had the timeline slightly off too, probably because we were busy running around everywhere instead of instantly going up. <laughs> Damon, it's it's a video game. We had to explore every nook and cranny. Yeah, we darn well got thirty mono mono coins for doing that too. Yeah. It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Don't, don't sass him. Hey, is girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Look, however it happened, she admitted to it. Yeah. Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that girl E, who was waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Does it even matter that much? I mean, sure, I'm fine with, with actually discussing this, but how important is it to the trial? Well, Monokuma probably wants us to. Yeah. Then, what did Girlie do after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess I need to clear that up first. Okay. Well, let's just let it go on through once. What button is focus? It's R1. After she killed the Test first it. victim in the music room. You got it? Yep. What did Girlie do? You, do you remember how to use the she silencer? She just broke the window in the yeah. music room. You know, it's different from the gun, right? Outside. Yeah. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall... Through the entrance hall. The other four hall. girls should have been there. Uh-huh. At the entrance hall, the girls... Heard the sound of the window shattering. Okay, that's probably what we need to... How was she able to get past those four and wait in front of the music room? She probably used a hidden passageway. In a locker. Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best! Shut up, secret passage! <laughs> what did girl E do? She just broke All right, now having gone down. through the darn so thing twice to make to sure we got it. <laughs> I'm not going to make another mistake. You know it's going to be wrong, right? Shut up. Booyah, Kasha! Yeah, I know, right. Booyah, Kasha. First of all, 
The sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. I suppose the only way that this would really work is if it ha if the murder had happened earlier. Yeah. And she was trying to draw attention to it. Yeah. See that. Okay. That, then we'll need to wor worry about that next. That's true. That would that would make sense. See, I thought from the original game that there was blood on the vase. Right. Okay, sure, there wasn't. I get that. But that would explain why Fuyuhiko mistook that photo then. Because yeah. he, got, he got a picture of the girls there, of dead Sato, and a vase. Wasn't that what was in the ending prize? Okay, we just took the time to make sure we were familiar with the evidence. We hadn't done that for this trial yet, so we went through every truth bullet to stick it in our heads. We'll forget them all in five minutes. Not the bullets. Don't worry, everyone. We're fine. Oh, oh no, no, no. We're getting the truth. Part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure really? there was no clarification. Nobody thinks truth bullets are real bullets. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. Vase? How low can you go? No, it's limbo. After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. The only thing I can think of is that that was for us to get their attention, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. What does that mean? Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. What that does is, so it's basically what we said. Yeah. It not only lures them there, but it makes them think that it just happened because they used the uh, the window uh, yeah, to yeah, escape, yeah. Which, is, which is like the idea. Now, as for the, as for the fish tank, you know, I was thinking based on the water that's in that's present in the photo of the vase, mm -hmm. and well, we were thinking that maybe the the fish tank was used to clean off the murder weapon. The or well, I guess the fish tank would have been the murder weapon. In that case, would it have cleaned itself? Well, all the water comes out. I guess that's true. Well, either way, maybe it was used, whatever the murder weapon was, the fish tank probably cleaned it or there wouldn't have been a reason for it to have been broken. Unless it was just a random thing during it a may struggle. It have broken in the struggle. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But why would that be a truth bullet then? See what I'm saying? Uh, anyway. That's a good point. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. Right. So when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. Oh. Yeah, that's what we had just talked about, about the murder right, taking place at an earlier quite... time. Okay, it must have happened when no one else was there then. What? Because wouldn't they have heard the window breaking and the, or whatever before? If the window was already broken and nobody else was there, yeah, remember, she's providing I mean. she's providing an alibi that's by true. breaking it. That's true, Because that's it true. gets them to not only find it, but see that the, vi that the murderer just escaped by breaking the window. Right, right, right. I see. Now the mystery has been solved. Or maybe the fish tank indeed broke the window and she knew nobody was there. And that's why the I window gotcha. was like that. And that way, that way, after somebody was actually there, right, right, she would she lure did. them. Yeah. Wait a minute. The mystery hasn't been solved yet. You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet. Murder weapon? Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was. You know, in Spirit of Justice, this this exact thing came up. This It did just come up, and wouldn't you know it, as soon as we found the murder weapon, things progressed. Not necessarily in the, in, not necessarily in the way we wanted, but... Not cool. I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you got to stick with it to the end. You know, come to think of it, it was similar to a death march, wasn't it? <laughs> what the heck? You're so annoying. Your face is annoying. I don't really disagree, though. My face is a shock. Fine. Let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm going to feel like I need to shit. Is that an emotional release for you? I, I said release. <laughs> Which means I'll feel disgusting. <laughs> You're the disgusting one. You're seriously. <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional. The answer was revealed in the game, though. 
Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? An unconventional weapon that also appeared in the game. Then it has to be the fish tank. If we're told we can't advance as long as we don't make that clear. I mean, I guess it could have been the vase, but if it's unconventional, then it's the fish tank. Why right? wouldn't it have broke the first time it was used? It doesn't matter if it did or not. Just, just... Okay, then I have to do it. I'll do it. I mean, why was there water on the vase? Uh, I, I see. Because it was full of flowers. Billy, you see that potted plant right there? Uh-huh. You know, I did water it today. Uh-huh. But if I were to break it, there wouldn't be all this water everywhere. Ah, well, then you got me. What do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. Was I out of line just now? Well, you guys probably still don't trust me again anyway. Anyway, there's something I need to tell you regarding the white noise and the non-stop debate. What now? Some lines of white noise are actually very durable. You won't always destroy them in one shot. Durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with the silencer, and you probably don't even get... Oh. Oh, but unless you completely destroy them, your time limit will not be replenished. By the way, if your difficulty is set to gentle, white noise won't appear at all. You get to gist right. Blah blah debate tougher, obtained useful information, I'm starting to bore myself. I hear there's a guy named Gandamu. Apparently, he has a skill that can increase the power of the silencer. I wonder who it is. It's such a mystery. Was I out of line just now? Is this narrator an actual character? Because I'm kind of thinking he might be. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, broken it's, fish it's tank. It's broken fish tank. It's, oh. not, it's not the swimsuit. Inside the music room. Huh? What else do we have? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Killer's escape route. Victim's crime and scene photo and broken base tank. photo. Okay. That's too big to be a weapon. Is it? Then the piano. Ah. Uh. Why are you going even? <laughs> <laughs> the investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too. <laughs> <laughs> How about beating her with gravel instead? No. If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death. It should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains? No, there wasn't. It totally could be the vase. She beat her to death with her fists. No, she's not that strong here. Right, right. So it's the could... only thing that could be a weapon. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Well, it's either the fish tank or the vase then, but look. The you can agree with that right there. Oh, you're right. You you might have you why don't you use focus and then shoot the white noise? Hmm. Right, so fish tank doesn't agree with fish tank. Get inside the music room, huh? The following is a public service announcement. Ignore it at your own risk. As we understand, this next part is somewhat notorious. Well, it's no different here. While we were recording the game's non-stop debate, Damon and I got into our own non-stop debate. So basically, we spent the next amount of time arguing at each other. Word bullets were fired at each other, but alas, there was far too much white noise in the way. So about the next eight or nine minutes is a, a bunch of white noise. Be patient with this, or just skip to here. This debate is bullcrap. I still want to know why the hell this matters. Why couldn't we have just ignored it? Did it really make a difference? Ah! So if you want to watch us fight through this crap and each other, go right ahead. Just be warned. Place your bets, everyone, on who's going to win. Spoiler, neither of us win. What about broken glass? Should be a weapon. Victim's crime scene photo? That's what I'm, okay, that's what I'm thinking. What, okay, what are you thinking? I'm, I'm going to look at the victim's crime scene photo. Why do you think it's the victim's crime scene photo? Is there a weapon with blood stains? It's not the piano. It's not her head. It's That's not correct. her leg. But wait. I mean, it maybe it isn't the blood stain thing, but I mean. They did say broken glass. And again, there's no dirt and lots of water. The fish tank's broken. 
Or maybe you think it's the fish tank, but you have to prove it with something. I mean, I guess you could... What about broken window? Like, killer's escape route? Gravel and water would... No, if she was thrown out the window and then... No, no, no. She yeah. wasn't thrown yeah. out the window. Well, yeah, I just came to that conclusion. It's a weapon that I mean, was maybe on the bloodstain part? It should have had bloodstains. I don't know why you don't want to try anything. <laughs> oh... I mean, I'm just trying to get all the points that I can look at and then try and okay. think of them like that. Okay. Have you got them? If it's the fish tank. Something with gravel? Fish tank. Boom. That's what I was thinking. I mean, yeah. you want to do it like that? Yeah, yeah. We'll she do wasn't it like beat that. to death with gravel, though, but. No, but it does tie into the fish tank. Where's the gravel in it? Go to it and show me. Well, it says specifically that gravel and water are yeah. scattered everywhere. Uh, the broken best. glass thing works, too. Just make sure not to ever hit a statement with it. Yeah. Then she attacked her with so, the fish tank. So we're not in agreement about this. That's too but big to be a I'm gonna take a shot. Pile. Why are you uh, going uh, even uh, investigation? Broken fish so tank. I mean you only got so much time. Instead. It wasn't that either. Okay. Dang it. So, I mean, if you're gonna take that logic. Then the then the glass is the the next natural. I mean, however, that's assuming, that that, that's assuming that that logic is correct, though. I know. That's the problem. Wasn't the first comet beaten with glass? With broken glass? Yeah, that was Kazuichi's first comment. Then doesn't that mean that if something's made of glass, boom, it's broken? Sure, try it. All right. What about broken glass? It's not the fish tank, man. <sighs> But that was the only thing in the... What about the broken vase on the bloodstains? The vase photo on the bloodstains part at the very end. Was there something with bloodstains? But there... Well, that's not an agreement. Quite. Yeah, that's the thing. And Well, what about the here, vase the photo on, on that? On, on the glass then? Yeah, yeah, because, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, so use the... I'm thinking it's the dang vase, and so you use the only thing that has the vase. Damn it. A weapon inside the music room. But it wasn't inside the music room, is, is my only glass? concern. Isn't the cause of death a blood? It have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? And if you wanted to do that, you'd she need to use focus anyway. Miss. Okay, if we're if, if I'm, what I'm saying about the vase, why don't you try it on the broken glass to agree with it, okay? Okay, okay. Here's the thing the vase isn't made of glass. Wait. Okay, that might be my... Hold on. You're thinking way too hard about too many things. You're not thinking about what's right in front of you. I'm not, it's like, maybe I'm wrong. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If the vase was used to murder her, then she would have had to have picked up every... Because the vase wouldn't survive an impact to the head. It would have already broken. Then she would have had to pick up each individual piece and then break it again. That's what's... That's why I'm like, I... I don't uh, I don't really agree with that, you know? Okay. Well then, we need to contradict the has blood stains. Right, because she, it not, it's not any of the agreement points. Correct. That's uh, the problem is, is I, and I missed my opportunity to shoot the uh, fish tank at the blood stains. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a thing she attacked her with the fish tank? See? It's too big to be a it should have had blood stains. There. See? Okay, okay. Um, and you can't do the transcript in this game, right? Oh, no, no, not for the... What? That was the transcript of the text before this. Yeah, yeah. You can't yeah. look at these with the transcript anymore. Go back. Go back to that. The transcript? Yeah. Okay, look. We need to calm down. We don't have much time. Because we're both kind of being... Sorry. But I'm sorry, too. Yeah. Uh, can you... Can you move it up? The, the transcript? Yeah. Was I... Okay, keep going. Okay, look. Unless it is the vase on the bloodstains, we're obviously just not even right. right. Right? Right! I mean, it wasn't the fish tank! And we probably... What? I mean, what do we have left? Like a minute 15? Yeah, something like that. Go through it one more time. Without shooting just, anything? Just go through it one more time. We need to look at it one more time. We need to stop yelling at each other. What about broken glass? Where do these appear? It, it's, it's not broken glass. Isn't the cause of death? We need to look at where the white noise appears. Then she attacked her with the fish the tank. The fish tank. And the white noise also appears on it's gravel and fists. 
You sure? 100%. Nothing appears on bloodstains, which maybe should have been a clue. It's on that bigger scale. How about beating her with gravel instead? Gravel. And these are pretty easy. It's a weapon that was she beat her to death with her fists. Man, we're probably going to get a game over. Just just, just hold it. All right. Well, we apologize and st decided to stop being jerks and arguing with uh, arguing back and forth at each other. <sighs> Oi! I said we stopped and apologize. I already apologized. What do you want? I apologize too. I'm I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, my heart's not in it. Okay. Here's the thing, right? Uh huh. The weapon is unconventional. Right. And what Hajime is saying is apparently it appeared in the game. Right. Monokuma said the weapon is unconventional, but it appeared in the game, yeah. right? So what is unconventional that appeared in the game that we have as a truth bullet? We understand it's not the vase. We understand it's not the fish tank. We've gone through those enough. It, it's not the killer's escape route because there's no way to get rid of the blood because the killer's escape route yeah, is that way. Yeah, and it can't be the corpse. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the, the corpse. So it's the swimsuit? Well, maybe it is the swimsuit. Look, we have the swimsuit, but what have we never thought about we've never thought about the swimsuit we've never acknowledged the swimsuit we never thought about it in any way and when you go back go back to the transcript okay and like the narrator was like what was the weapon just now i have no idea was i out of line just now and then monokuma was like can you figure it out if the weapon's really unconventional that also appeared in the game like like maybe by process of elimination that would have to be it i mean and then i mean we're probably gonna game over which is embarrassing because i mean if if she did wrap the swimsuit around something and, that and would where where does all the white noise show up blocking stuff it it shows up on fists and it shows up on the gravel well yeah yeah i mean look hmm. this this is already sunk we clearly don't actually understand it why don't we give it one last go Okay. I don't think we have time to try both. Although now that you've learned to focus. <laughs> uh, so which one should we use it on? Just gravel because it appears first? You think, I don't think we're going to have enough time to get to fists. I don't, I don't think it's fists. I don't think it's fists. Okay. We'll try it on gravel then. Big escape. How about beating her with gravel instead? Well, dude. What? The what? Excuse me? Did she pile the gravel into the swimsuit and use it like a club? The killer must have used gravel to attack. What the? What? Go to the truth bullets. Well, gee, I was thinking that we were going to get a get a game over, and and then I was going to be like, har har har, we are dumb. I. But no, go go to the fish tank. Uh, okay, I guess that's not enough gravel. I mean... Really? Yeah? Didn't you say something before about throwing the weapon out the window? Where's all the gravel? Well, on the... On the you floor... You ever had a fish tank? Huh? You ever seen a fish tank? There's more gravel than that. or stuff in it. It's not there. It's oh. all gone. Uh, then she must have picked it up later, after she threw no. it out the window. No, no. She dunked the swimsuit in there, and she scooped up the bunch of the gravel in the swimsuit. You know, like like a sock full. Yeah, of like a sock full of quarters or something. Yeah, and then then use that. Okay. Uh, oh. And then threw it out the window or something like that. Oh god. Because there's no gravel right here. But <sighs> how did we just miss that so completely? Well. Well, we pulled through at the very end. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. We'll see you next time, everyone. Yeah, I've had enough of this crap.
akan melompat.